Yo, Dokies, and Dilip here, back with another advanced OBS tutorial, and we've got a new plugin on our hands that I've been wanting to cover since it came out on the 20th of January from Henk, A 37 Henk, I don't know how to pronounce your name, please let me know, brother, if you are watching this, but let's take a little look at it, it's going to be able to track your movements of a window, so if you've got a window on your screen and you move it, it moves it inside of OBS at the same time. Madness. Let's get into it, play Rock of the Stone. So as with all OBS plugins, we need to get it from the OBS website. All the links are in the description as always. So we're going to jump up to the download link up here. Make sure you do leave a rating and all that. I'm going to do it after this video. Uh, I'm going to press go to download. So this is actually going to take us to the GitHub page. And it will show you the recent build just here. Make sure your OBS is completely up to date to 26.1.1. Otherwise, this might not work correctly. So we're going to press on this little assets button just here. And just download this top one. It's a raw file here. So you'll need something like WinRAR to be able to uh, open it it might say it's dangerous and whatnot but i've not had an issue with it and uh, it wouldn't be on the obs website if there was an issue with it so just make sure you do check that as well to say it's fine so now we're in downloads i'm going to bang it on my desktop just to make it a little bit easier for you to see i'm going to select the file just here and press extract here and it's going to bring up two extra folders as you can see we've got obs plugins and data these are the two that we're going to cut we're going to cut them and bang them into our obs folder which is this pc it's usually in your c drive it might be in program files or program files 86 mine's program files and we're looking for obs studio all lowercase and we're just going to paste them directly into them mine's already installed so it's going to ask if i want to replace this is the same if you are updating it but if not it'll ask for all admin privileges and everything like that i'm going to press no for now because i've already got it all installed anyway so jump into obs and I've got a blank scene just here with no source on it. I'm going to add a window capture source. So this can be any kind of window. So the one I'm going to do is my Leoran board window. Okay, so I'm going to select that, press OK, and it's going to bring up absolutely nothing. There we go. It's in here now. If I move this window around on screen, as you can see, it just stays in place in OBS. But now if I right click on the scene, go to filters press the plus sign and you should see window follower just there if you're not seeing that means you've not installed the plugin correctly so make sure you go back through that step maybe check program files 86 etc so i'm going to press on window follower i'm just going to call it window follower for now so you won't see much really happen right now it'll just look kind of standard but i found it glitches out a little bit so press close and then go back down to your scene and go back to filters and now you'll see all the options there so the source we're going to select is window capture source so it's kind of just disappeared off screen right now so th don't worry about that there's nothing to worry about and if we open up leoran board now it's going to track where we are on the screen so as you can see in that preview window there it's moving so if i move that that whole thing out of the way now and start playing with leoran board you'll see depending where it is on my desktop it's going to completely move inside of obs without me having to move the source itself it's just tracking the movement so as you can see, it's kind of matching exactly what my desktop is at the moment. So if it's slightly off screen, you can see it's off screen. So there's a couple of different filters that we can um, mess around with, like uh, the scaling. If we don't want it to scale, it'll just kind of be uh, in proportion to how big our canvas size is. So my canvas is at the moment 1080p in uh, OBS and my screen size is 1440. So as you can see, this is kind of the, the constraints of where to go rather than all the way to the end so we can obviously mess around with that sort of stuff i i usually leave it on desktop to scene that's fine you can change the bounds as well and tell it to stay within the bounds so what that will mean is you set the the and the height of your canvas or what area you want it to go in and then now if i try and move it outside of that area and i'm off screen it will never remove it from obs so it'll never hide it or, or put it off screen or anything like that so it just allows us if you're using multiple things maybe you're you do a bit of teaching or something like that and you have to use multiple windows it just means you can leave them all active and move them around so people can see exactly what you can see so set that up on one monitor boom 
it's awesome. So hopefully you do like this one. Please leave a review over there for Henk or Henke. Sorry, really butchering people's names. But hopefully you've enjoyed it. All right, guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. Remember, these videos do take me a while to do. So if you want to support the uh, the content, please consider joining over at Patreon. And let's just keep cracking 2021. It's insane, the stuff that we're coming out with at the moment. So you guys keep it up. I'll keep it up. Everyone keep it up. Everyone's hunky-dory. Put your rock over the stone. Much love. I just want to say a huge thanks to all my patrons that helped make this content full-time, make it free for you guys. And also a huge thanks to all my YouTube members. You, you guys are legends. Thank you so much for everything that you do for me and the community. Keep it up, guys.